Rolling. Okay. And we back, baby. Yo, check this out, man. I'm with one of the hostess with the mostest, man. Yo, this is one of the most gorgeous ladies of the uh, the new school, leaders of the new school, man. Aww. She is got a, a voice that will command the a, a whole arena. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? She, when she be talking that shit, she be talking that shit. And she does her research and she know what she talking about. Say Backwards that. and forwards. It don't matter who she's talking to. It'll never go over her head. She going to always be over your head if you under-informed and whatnot. Yo, like I said before, she is the host with the most, the analyst with all the analysis. Y'all give it up for the one, the only, the one, the only, Symphony. Oh. I'm talking about Thompson. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, by and, far. And her voice is music to my ears. I watch her every day <laughs> for nothing. By Indeed. far the best intro yes. I've ever ever received. So Did. thank you. You, I mean, you. You're so deserving. I appreciate that. And I appreciate being here, Jack, you know, especially to be on a new set. You know, I feel I feel like I made it. I feel like I made it now. Yo, you did, man. The, the, the birds are chirping. Come and, and I and I appreciate that. I love waking up to birds chirping. Yes, yeah. I don't like that shit, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it Why is. Why not? Jack, it's rela it's, it's like a another reason to appreciate God. I, I dig all, it, that, but I just still feel like my, my windows ain't thick enough. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. I, like, man, it's like, is this motherfucker in my house? What the fuck? Trying to wake you up yeah, with nature. Yeah, it, it's just too real in my house in the morning. Sometimes. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Your birds sound disrespectful. They, yeah. they. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like they there right by the window. Mine not did doing disrespectful. that. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But hey, you know, I, 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 I was once. Uh, you twenty eight now, right? Twenty nine. Oh, you twenty nine. Come on now. Turn thirty this year. You turned thirty this year. I do. Wow. May first, Taurus. Which I, I think I, you're a Taurus, right? Yeah. See, and that's why the kindred spirits. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. You knew that I was a tourist. I may have looked at a, you know, an interview of five, there, 10, okay. 11, 12, you know, wow. plus. Oh. I watch you. Yeah. yeah, I don't I don't just and when I tell people I appreciate you or I love the work that you do, it's not just cause it sounds good or it's the right thing to say, it's cause I genuinely do. So yeah. Man, I thought you was Captain Kangaroo the whole time. <laughs> no, and Captain it was Kangaroo. that was what's like, Wow. Yeah. You are, you a freaking Taurus. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's what's up, man. And, and why are Taurus is special to you? So I appreciate Taurus because of our loyalty. Um, I think we are some of the most loving people. Um, it's just you know just like a bull because that's that's what that what that's what represents us. It's like if you flash a red flag mm -hmm. so many times, mm -hmm. like I'm gonna tell you like, hey, so that's the bull kicking back. Hey, I don't like that. That's the orange. Hey, I don't like that. Oh, and then you keep. Flapping, flap, 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 flapping that red thing, and then I'm just gonna charge. And at that point, it's no return. But it takes time to get there. Before that, we're the most loving people. It takes time. People. It does. It takes time. And motherfuckers be always trying to act like, why you know, you, you ain't giving a chance. How are you? Why are you acting like it's like, no, I told And I'm, I'm, I'm totally I love ahead. communicating. Yeah. Like, I will tell you, I don't like that. Yeah. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. That's hurting. Mm -hmm. And then after so many times, it's like, oh, okay, so you don't understand this language. Okay, let me level up. Yeah. Which I don't like going there, but if I have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's a, man, I've never heard it, you know, spoken so eloquently. Oh. And now I know how to do it. <laughs> From here on out, like the reason why I don't no. fuck with you is <laughs> don't use it as a crutch. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm no, crutching. No, no, Jack. It's I mean, it's all I'm it's, crutchy black. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Jack, you, you. It's like we know that's a part of us, but it doesn't mean we have we use it as an excuse or a crutch. Well, it's you, like, we, well, listen. Let me. I don't. I don't like a lot of times. Like in my, in, I'm, I'm 40 now, so okay. I be 41. 41 next month. Come on, 41. And so what the, what that means is, what I've learned is I don't need to have an explanation why mm. I don't fuck with you no more. Oh, no, that's a fact, for sure. You know, when you just see me not talking to you or calling you or accepting your calls and, and blah, 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 I feel like you know what it is. Hey, the last nigga that I, I just cut off, <laughs> he told me, oh, so you, 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 you mad because... And he, oh, he hit he it right on the head. Yeah. So he knew he had and disrespected me. So you don't explain why you just cut people off? I just cut people off. Okay, because, see. Because, but I had, but it, this was the third time. Okay. That's this was the, the, no, I'm sorry, this was the fourth time. Oof. 
And, you know, really, it's you really ain't supposed to make the same mistake twice. Correct. First time, you know, that's Especially on me. Especially, once again, once again, when you get my age. Yeah. It, it started to get a little redundant, like, yo, you fell for that again? Yeah. And and I do it to myself, too, Symphony. I'm like, damn. You I did it again. Leave, I fell for that bullshit right there. I, I know better. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, so, I think that's a lot of us, too. Like, we, we put up with more than we need to. But mm-hmm. I, And I think, too, I think you hit it right on the head. Like, as you get older, you just understand, like, it's just certain people I don't want in my life, and that's okay. As long it's as, okay. And as, as long as I've communicated to you along the way, hey, I don't like this, but mm-hmm. you keep doing it, then, yeah, cut them off. Block them. Do what you have to do to protect your peace, protect, you know, the world that you want to live in. But, yeah, no, I'm not about to, even at 29, I don't believe in having people in my life that just don't add value or, you know, and that can be in a challenging way or just, you know, all positive. Like, I love friends that hold me accountable. They tell me like, hey, Symphony, you know, girl, you know, you did X, Y, Z. I love those. But if you're just all negative or I feel like the energy is just not right, mm-hmm. you know, no, no, no. Block, my block list ha- have grown. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I love a good block. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, too many times we be having like default friends in our life. Mm-hmm. You know, like you said, just pe just hanger owners, and you like, man, you know what? Uh, I, I think Fifty Cent he said it the best, man. Um, you know, um, the people you the people you um, talk to about nothing determine your outcome, mm. and what that means is that if you uh, spend your time talking to somebody that has nothing to teach you, yeah. You know, uh, uh, what are you talking them to them for? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're wasting your time. Yeah, and time is something you can't get back. You'll never get it back. It's the most valuable thing in the world. Yeah, we say time is money, and I, and I find that to be one of the most false statements that we push. Time is not money, because I can get money mm-hmm. again and again and again, but I can never get my time back. No. And especially, I feel like right now, like, time is just moving so fast. Like, I don't know what it's been lately, like... My time. It, it has ain't just even been, been lately. It, but what was what's happening now? Man, as you get older, it's not enough time because it's more behind. When you was when you were younger, you was, couldn't wait to get to where you are now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now you know you you, you recognizing you that you're brakes. turning thirty. Then at thirty, gonna turn to forty. <laughs> so thirty five real quick. Then it's forty. Yeah. And you like, man, what the <laughs> fuck just happened to me just now? For real. And and even like with COVID and all, mm-hmm. like that freaked me up. Like mm-hmm. it still blows my mind that it's two thousand twenty three. My mind is like in two thousand twenty five. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know where the last two years went, but they just I, yeah. It's it's a it's it's maybe that maybe that I'm just getting older because yeah. You but just I don't know older. when I went to Mexico, slime time slowed down a lot. When I T- when I was vacating, it, I don't know. You, you was having all the fun in there. I seen I seen you twerking inside your No, life. Cut, see now you <laughs> you, <was on> <laughs> you, I, you know you oh. know tequila. <laughs> I see you. Jack, see, this mm-hmm. how... I, you was on there with them girls. I see, that's, I'm, I'm going to tell you two things, two ways I know you lying. Okay. All right. You will never. Okay. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. You were twerking from the front. Catch me on live twerking. You were twerking from the front. And two, I don't even drink. You don't drink? No. Nope. Get out of here. <laughs> that's I'm crazy. That. <laughs> hey, yo, Chrissy, let, let me get another drink. <laughs> I'm going to drink it. You, sure? you want some water? I, I I have some. Okay, cool. Yeah, she I, brought, got I brought water and kombucha. Now and, and kombucha, kombucha has a little, little alcohol in it. Get, it's technically oh. fermented tea, but fermented tea. Yeah, that is good. Oh, thank. Oh, okay. You look good, girl. You, oh, oh, you she, better oh, work. Fine as all wine. <laughs> you know? Hey, come back here one more time. <laughs> one more time. Get, get one, <laughs> yo, spin, spin around for yeah, yo. You look good. Get, look, come on now. That <laughs> way. She's trying to play shy. Girl, you she ain't you, she ain't nowhere near shy. You knew when you woke up this morning and you put that on, you was like, yeah, no, I look good. She <laughs> this just is showed me. me a picture of her butt naked. This, he told me, girl, and you was like, oh, and I'm glad he did, because yeah. you yep. look good, girl. She more com- she comfortable even with that's like too much for her right now. Real- <laughs> what <laughs> she be comfortable in? Man. Oh, yo, you like you like you like with the coochie cutters on. Okay, okay. With the coochie, girl, baby, do do what you do. Nigga, it's you know <laughs> ass out all that. Yeah. And y'all be y'all she, like it? She be she and she. You know, I mean, like, well, I mean, we we deal with it. Not. 
<laughs> not y'all, not y'all deal with we it. We deal with it. Come on, Jay, look at him. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, everybody got that friend. Look you know? <laughs> no, you look good though, Mama. You yeah, you're more than welcome. Dude, come back one more time <laughs> and show them what you do because we gotta. You have to motivate your people. You have and to motivate that, your friends. This your way of motivating. Yeah, yeah. Your one people. more time, go ahead. Twist okay. One, one more time, yeah, right there. Because sometimes you gotta right. put the medicine I'm in the right candy. Now. Yeah. Sometimes you got to put the medicine in the candy. a spoon full of sugar it, it <laughs> will make the medicine guy right now. No. I see what you did. No. I saw what you did. All right. That, you are a mess. That's Chrissy the bartender right there. You can catch her around here in these Atlanta streets Come and whatnot. On. Ha- make it and tip happen. her good. Yeah. Tip her good. Actually, tip her great. Yeah, you, you shouldn't you, leave you without should a tip. tip her. Yes. You should yes. definitely tip As her. As a matter of fact, anybody that gives you service, you need to be leaving a tip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Period. Yep. 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 One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So you, you. I mean, you probably wasn't drinking, but you was over there. You know I saw, what? I saw your navel. No, <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, it's. It, of I course, saw your navel. The sun was out. I will say though, it was, it was a great time as far as like the weather, <laughs> but it was actually probably the worst vacation I've ever been on though. Why? Tell me what happened. I heard some, a white couple try to proposition oh, you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> put, put, put it down, put it down, put it down. So I, I won't go into like be too specific because I don't want to, the person that I went with, that's their livelihood and I appreciate them for having me, you know, and I don't want anything to happen to their livelihood. However, my experience is my experience. Um, So I was there, as I said, I, I don't drink. I'm this not a girl. It, the person doesn't matter. The the, uh, the people yeah. there. See how he trying to get me. Oh, the person. Oh, sorry. It, yeah. It, it, yeah, the person doesn't matter. It, look, <laughs> the person doesn't matter. Um, it was a girl. I can say it was a girl. I knew. It. Um, I knew it. That's why I saw the way you looked at Chrissy. It Go was ahead. not this, like this that. You. Not like you. not like that. Whatever. She's a whatever. married woman. What, whatever. A whatever. married woman. Whatever, anyway, honey. anyway, focus, focus. She's a married focus, woman. Jack. You said she's a married woman. Fo- you see, you I, see? I, that was last. And that's, that's what y'all be, headlines. That's what y'all be doing. This I, who is y'all? Y'all, that's what y'all be doing. You can on that never show? compare me to y'all. I am. Did you say I am one of one? Yeah, you are one. I of one. am. I am the only symphony. So yeah, I, 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 yeah. I can never be prepared to no, no. be yeah, compared. Yeah. But anyway, Jack. Um, so right right of course there. people were drinking, right? Like mm. everybody was just drunk, toasted. So I mean, everybody don't drink. Everybody there was like they were, they were, they were done. Anyway, so they were. Um, I had a couple. First, he started out telling me like how much he loves his wife, and then he was like, "Yeah, she calls this time like leaky time. Like when I wake up in the morning and I'm really hard, and semen just starts coming out of my penis." And I'm like. Oh. I wasn't, I see, we didn't know you was going to do that. Especially the way you just covered this shit up. I didn't know. We didn't didn't know know. you was going to do that. Surprise, surprise to y'all, surprise to me. But it didn't stop there, Jack. Okay. It didn't stop there. Holy shit. It went from white women telling me like, oh my gosh, I love your lips, Mm, to oh my gosh, I love your hair, to Uh, um, one night I dressed up, I had my hair pushed back, and it was like in a big bun. Mind you, I'm probably the... It was a couple of other black people there, but I have, you know, locks in my hair. And I, so I'm the blackest looking woman there, you know, in the sense of Mahogany. like. Mahogany, yeah. Yeah, in the sense of like, if it, people thought I was from, they were asking me like, oh, are you from Africa? Are you from da 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 da? This lady, she says, um, oh, you are definitely Wakanda forever tonight. Oh, right. Oh, all right now. All right, now there ain't nothing racist. And I don't want to say that. anything because I know the person right, and I know, and I'm just sitting there like oh, itching, shit. like my face is hot. Then the couple comes back and um, Made your face was itch. asking if I can come to, <laughs> asking if I can come to the room with him and his wife, trying to get him and his wife to, or get his wife to like touch my butt. Oh wow! And like um, That's crazy. a couple men coming to me like, it yeah, you know, like that. what I saw at the pool, it looked real nice. I just want to tell you that. And I was just like, you know, <laughs> dear what Heavenly like? Father. What was you like? Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. I come to you today. Please give me the patience. It was honestly the worst trip because all I kept thinking in my mind is, one, it's it's disrespectful yeah. to even say certain things. Yeah, that's not think right. It, think what you want to think. Yeah. But like to my face to say it and have yeah. the boldness to say it and then show up next day as if you didn't. But in my mind, I was like, if these were black men talking to a white woman, like this, oh, y'all would be in. Like, oh. y'all would be done for. Wow. 
your job would be gone. You might be arrested, might get beat, you know, beat up in the middle of the night. But the boldness to like say it to my face and show up next morning like, oh, hi, Symphony. Wow. Good morning. And I'm wow. just sitting there like, I really want to, I really want to say some things. So it was, it was a great experience because I got to get away for a little bit, but it was the worst. That's, that's probably the worst. And I've, you know, gas stations here in Atlanta be, they be on, and I know, I know you get them. I know your fine tail get them well, at the gas station. I, I, I got a Tesla, so. Oh, oh dang, she don't. No more, but you want yeah. still. Don't do me yeah, like that. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 she like, at the electric pump. Well, yeah, I do get them at the I do get them at the electric the electric stop. Why she do me like that, Jack? Hey, hey, listen, Why she hit me like hey, listen, that? I, I I done rolled back out of from out of town with Chrissy before. How many times she had to stop? Man, my nigga, it took us mm -hmm. about two days yep. to get back home yeah, from the, a two hour trip. Correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought we were gonna get raped at, at one stop. <laughs> one, one electric pump stop. Because <laughs> it, it sounds nice, I, right? I, I, like I got some batteries in my book. Correct. Bag. It sounds. The idea of it is beautiful. Like, and I even thought about it. Like, I really want an electric Jeep, but yeah, I to stop. Don't listen. Now. That many. <laughs> I'm gonna think about it. As fuck with her, Chris. I like because I know she wasn't gonna do. We shit. gotta stop again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she. You know. In the, that's Buck Hood now. Yeah. Surrounded. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart woman. Smart hold on, woman. hold on. Where you from? Uh, where you where, 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 Chris? Miami. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay, yeah. You did know. Okay. Yeah. You knew. You, you have to pay. You have to pay attention. Yeah, you got to pay attention. Everywhere I go, my neck is on a swivel. And I oh and I was about to say oh baby I keep one tuck don't don't <laughs> don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it <laughs> now baby Udo don't play with it <laughs> y'all yeah I, I I can tell both of y'all real violent behind the scene because they, they so nice they really nice I, real, but really good people you really great people but Be it's just if you push me there but also too like to live in the world that we live in and not be prepared for the worst case scenario at all times y'all some of y'all men be real aggressive I said some. No, no, I'm aggressive. I'm definitely aggressive. You one of them? I'm, de but I'm aggressive. What you be doing? I'm, I'm, I'm aggressive if you you uh, let me be aggressive. Okay, you well, allow me Give me an me example. To. Give me an example. Like, okay, like I didn't hit on you before. Have you? But not see? in a subtle. It was in a subtle. See? Okay, see? but that's see? no, not an aggressive see? way though. That, oh, for that's oh, aggressive for me. Okay, that's okay. aggressive for me. Okay, like you could tell I like you, but I ain't finna like. Grab you or no shit like that. <laughs> Come here, girl. I, I ain't gonna be like, man. I sure would love to sit on your face. <laughs> I mean, you to sit on my <laughs> face. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> so, yeah. I knew what you meant. It's yeah, okay. I knew what you that's meant. what I meant. Well, yeah, no, you you've been a gentleman. It was regular. Every time that we've yeah, it was super regular. Every time I've seen you or been around you. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a, light aggressive. Yeah, I wouldn't put you in that category. Yeah, they don't be yeah. light. They be heavy, real heavy. So heavy. like for instance, what's heavy? Heavy like And I want I want to your Chris, I, I want yours too. Oh, I want to hear yours well, too. Well, she but she works in a bar. I, I, so I, your I, that's why I not, really want to hear what's yeah. the heaviest aggressive? What's your heaviest? My heavy I yeah, my heavy I wouldn't compare my heavy to hers cuz she's in a bar. But hey, but yours might be lighter. That's your, what I'm I mean, saying. Your, you your, I mean hers might be lighter than yours. I Just, don't know. So it makes it worse. Exactly. Okay. What's your sign? Okay, I'm gonna have to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what, what's your what's your uh, your heaviest, Chrissy? And what? In uh, uh in aggressive uh, come ons to you, guys mm. approaching you. Oh, baby, scratching What's some my shit? Head. Especially they be like, you know, like, uh, can you do the VIP with me? Up, sir. Hold on, pause. Time out. I am a bartender. Wait, do the VIP with shift. me? What that mean? The VIP room. Oh, they, oh, the VIP room. they be doing that? No. Oh, I mean, no, that <laughs> does not happen. No. And we no. civilians. But, <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah. Hey, I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't been in the VIP since I was uh, 
like maybe 16 years old, I had the worst VIP uh, uh, experience, experience in my what life. What happened? I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you after you <laughs> tell me what's your my most worst, aggressive. Yeah. My most aggressive was in in my trip on my trip. That was the most aggressive. Yeah, that I've that's the and that, yeah and that's what it was. It was like because I feel like growing up, I've always had to deal with the typical like, hey girl, let me get your number, and then you tell them, no, you dumb b da 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 da. Yeah, I, or on, like somebody would disrespect you and call you a dumb bitch. What? Because you don't give them their your number. What? At all. And, I love rejection. And then and then <laughs> they they don't. And then you'll tell them they. You'll tell them you have a boyfriend. Oh no, I've had I've dated older men, baby. It's 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 just like the and then I just be looking like you haven't had any life. Ex- I don't know what what's the what's the what. But anyway, yeah, I've had men where you'll tell them like, oh, I got a boyfriend, and he'd be like, well, if I was your boyfriend, I wouldn't have you at the gas station by yourself. And it's like, boy, no. If you was my boyfriend, you'd be hollering at another woman at the gas station while I'm at the other gas station pumping. Like, stop playing. But yeah, no. I, sh- <laughs> So I'm used to that, but my trip, I've never experienced that in my life. I was like, and I didn't know what, you know, how to respond. I was sweating. Mm-hmm. It was, that was the worst for sure. Mm. Now you guys have, now I've never, have I ever been in VIP? Yeah, you have. I don't think I've ever been in VIP, Yeah, you Jack. have. You mm-hmm. Okay. Now back when I used to dance now, I did do You VIP used to dance? Videos, but I used to have them. Oh, you learning new things. I, That's know, how I, made I don't know you. <laughs> I used to be VIP for them. They want to do their coke. Yeah. And I made money, hella money. You were selling coke and dancing. No. Hell yeah. Because oh. they don't know how long you I'm was, in there. You were doking. What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you was cancing. They don't know how long they in that VIP. They know they got that white with them. They, they good. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, it, it's crazy out here. It's oh all, listen. God. That's why I said time. I thought I knew y'all. Time is the most value. You can get money in multiple ways. Hmm. You can't get time in multiple ways. Wow, that's nuts. Okay, man. Your <laughs> VIP experience? Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Oh. You, thought, you thought you was about to <laughs> not tell me. I was in Magic City. This is before. This Once again, I'm 17. I'm, I'm 41 now, so it don't look like the way it look now. <laughs> this motherfucker... <laughs> Oh, this mother! As a matter of fact, inside my memory is actually raggedy than a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, mind you, I'm um, I'm I'm a, I'm a young man. I'm working at MCI Worldcom, and what that not I, as Kevin Samuels was working there when I worked there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, really? I remember him. He's been then. around for that long. Well, I mean, I know he's but been he alive. But he wasn't doing that. For... He wasn't okay. doing that. Okay, okay, no. okay, okay. No. okay. <laughs> he was one of the top salesmen there, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and so um, M- MCI, a lot of you, you'll hear a lot of guys my age and a little bit older that were working at MCI Worldcom, and like I, w- I was making more than everybody in my house. I was making like maybe two thousand to uh, two uh, to twenty five hundred. A week wow. at um, selling long distance and whatnot. Come on, but mind you, it, it was some kind of scam, some shit, because it the company ended up folding and stuff, you know, mm. after a while. But I had already quit and like committed to comedy by then. Smart. But so I had took one of my checks, well, half of I took like maybe seven hundred dollars of my check and went up to Magic City uh-huh. at seventeen years old with a fake ID. Oh Lord. And uh, man, I ain't. This was for BBLs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, d- d- like b- before. Different era. The, yeah, na- man, these motherfuckers were so naturally fine. <laughs> I ain't seen no grown woman butt naked in life in my life. <laughs> and they were all just walking around like ponies, just everywhere. Not in that mother- like ponies, Jack. Uh, they were all around that mother. Looking no. so, bruh, and when you when you young, you just be nothing for nothing. Oh my gosh! You, I'm 17, like just walking around nothing. <laughs> like, ah! 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 Yeah, they, they thought I was having seizures in there. But anyway, oh. I, I sit down and I call myself. About the uh, uh, I ordered a, a, a Shirley Temple because I heard I thought it had alcohol in it, mm-hmm. but I didn't understand it didn't because no. I'd seen that on TV. Mm-hmm. I used to drink. I wasn't drinking at the time. 
Right. So, yeah. Oh, that's good. You said 17. Was. This is 17. Yeah, I was 17. Okay. And this fine ass, big booty, big titty motherfucker. I mean, she was so crazily fine. <laughs> Asked me to go in the VIP with her. Uh-huh. And then we went in there, and she's like, was dancing on me and then put, unzipped my pants and pulled my whole dick out and goddamn was rubbing on the motherfucker and then kissed the shit and then said a little bit of pussy on there and shit. And mind you, I ain't put on no condom or nothing. Oh. And I, like, you weren't thinking, you're not thinking about that when you're 17 and a grown. You're not thinking that. Right. For sure. Yeah, you're, you're like, yo, yeah. I'm fucking a grown ass woman and I can't wait to tell my homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that, that niggas is not gonna believe this shit right here. <laughs> and so, yeah, so she she had she sat down on half of my dick, and then came up and was like, "Hey, so you know, um, how much money you got?" I said, "I, I shit, I got seven hundred dollars," and she was like, "That's perfect. Give me that. We fi- I'm, I'm finna rock your world." And I heard "rock your world." on a whole bunch of TV movies and all that <laughs> shit. And I was like, I need to get my world rocked because I was just having regular sex. Right. You know, I, I ain't had my world rocked shit. Right. And then all she did, she took my $700 and then sat down all the way on my dick and got right up and then walked out the VIP. Oh, yeah. gave, then she came back in, gave me her phone number, and um, uh, 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 I called her a few times and shit, and she was asking me for more money. <laughs> And I, I thought we went together. Ooh, and we Jack. Did it. She, I, that was my first and last finesse yeah. in VIP. I was, I was going to ask, what'd you learn from that? Yeah I, I, yeah, I learned that these hoes don't love me. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I, yeah. It, it, but I thought we went together for real. In her defense, Jack, yes. you know, you went to Magic City. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't know that what that was. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, but you learned. And I you thought we had a connection. Pro- mm. yeah. No, nah, she, she, you she, had money. You had a money connection. You yeah, know? you were yeah. you were the ATM. She, yeah. you know. But you know, I, I'm glad you learned something. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. Uh, but listen, I learned so hard of a, of a lesson that it never happened to me again. That's well, one more time later on, but yeah. That- <laughs> what happened to never again? <laughs> Hey, but the that's next how, time... That's how folks be there be like, yeah, no, I definitely learned. I learned my lesson two hours later. Yeah. Here go Jack pulling back up. Yeah. Like, well, let me just go try hey, one but more Yeah, because so it never happened in the strip club again. Okay, it was just somewhere else. Nah, yeah. It, 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 the next time it happened... It, it was... It, you, I want... It didn't even have no sex involved. Oh, my gosh, Jack. Yeah, and so You're that's like a, a whole different book. robbery. Your st- your storybook. You have the most extreme stories. Yes, I do. I definitely ever. But uh, the other niggas got them too, but they just won't tell you. You're right. You're right. They uh, you know they they won't tell you. I'm not the only nigga that did been boo boo the fool no. or Willie Lump Lump. And we appreciate your vulnerability. Yeah. Because you you now people that are watching this younger guys who's probably 17. It, they gonna say that. They gonna say that. That's, I did that. But even oh, I thought about doing it. Let me not do that. Yeah, so you're yeah. just you know preparing them. I give away the secrets now. Yeah. I give away the signs. That's how it's supposed all to be. All of that. And so you'll know that you're supposed to be getting fucked on the first date or second date at the most. Jack, yeah, at the most. Really, that's not really where I was going. That, oh, that's one what you that, was gonna that say. That was a. Uh, like a big, big turn. I, not. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. what? I'm not gonna let you finesse these niggas no more. Oh. And uh, yeah, and whenever not on the you first, tell it, not, not on the first or second date. Listen, listen, find out first. Oh, bless you. And it. find out first, uh, fellas. Ma'am, before we, uh, I think you find as hell and everything, but do you think I'm sexually attractive? Oh, my God. Are you sexually attracted to me? <laughs> and if they tell you no, nigga, you probably shouldn't go out on a date. Well, that sounds no. like a six date trip. Well, Jack, so you're saying you only go on dates to have sex? No, I'm saying I only go on dates uh, or with people that I have a connection with. And if you don't have a connection with me, but I just got a connection with you, then we're not connected. But men are more physical. Like, y'all see things. Like, yes. women, I've dated men that I didn't find attractive, but because of the emotional and mental connection, mm-hmm. like, that, other, uh, like, I oversaw. How long did that take? Um, watch, watch what I'm about to do for y'all, fellas. <laughs> 
I'm about to save you some time. No. We were talking about saving time earlier. I don't, re I don't recall. She don't even know. <laughs> she recalls she don't want to tell well, you. But I, but I also, like, I, I, I tell people from jump, like, if sex is what you're aiming for, this is not the place. For you, I tell guys that from the, be that's the very dope. beginning. Now that's dope. Yeah, if now, if you want to have sex, I'm gonna go. I don't. You don't want to date me because I don't. I, I don't want to have sex. Now I'm not a virgin. I've had my experiences, but I don't want to have sex again until I'm married, because I I've seen the effects of how sex, what sex can do to a relationship for me. And what did it do? Yeah. What did it do to you? It love is blind. Love can be blind. You just I know. You, uh, again, staying in situations that I don't need to be in. So and then plus two, like I realize some men rely on like sex to like block out this emotional availability. Like I really desire my man to have emo be emotionally available. What does that mean to be emotionally available? Talk about how you feel. Being able to, if we have an issue, articulate what you're feeling and hear me too and understand what I feel and let's converse about the things that we're but experiencing. It, you know what, you Not know what just happens like, oh, let's go. I'm mad. You mad. Let's have angry sex. And it's like, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I, let's, I get that. We got to talk. We got to talk about it. But see, but I think that goes into, once again, the same thing that I'm talking about. And that's that interview process. Mm. And whatnot, and if you get that off the rip, like, like talking, yeah, like talking, that stage. yeah, 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 talking and, and and making sure that um you know, um it's not just him being interested in you, right? You being interested in him, because a lot of women are not interested in the um the guys that they're talking to. Yeah, they want to see how how far that you'll chase them, like mm. how much you want to know about me. And whatnot, and then that's how I oh, depict, okay. depict out of all my options how far I go with you. Yeah. Who's going to work the hardest? But mm. who's working hard for him? No, Nobody. Well, well that, that I, I I don't date women, so I can't. You know what you've experienced is what you've experienced. But for me, it's mm. important for me to pursue my man as well. Mm. Like I don't like like just being like he's doing all the work. Naturally, I, I put in work as well because I do feel like men don't have and I, th I think we're getting to a place where it's becoming better. But like y'all don't have those safe spaces or where you're able to, you know, you have to go out and have all this armor on. Black men have it the roughest to me in the world because like y'all just what the world put y'all through is just crazy. Yeah. You know, black women go through it, too, but black men do as well. So for me, like I always want to create a Nirvana, a safe space for my man when he comes home. You feel comfortable to release and take your take your cape off. Talk about what you feel, being able to release. And then also, I'm going to let you know every day, like, you know, I'm feeling you. I love you. You know, I'm vibing with you, whatever it is that I'm pursuing you as well. It's not just you doing all the work. So I don't date women. I don't know what other women do. But as for me and my friends, mm -hmm. we pursue our men. One hundred percent. I definitely, I, de I definitely, uh, I concur with that. I, I, I agree with you on that. Oh, yeah, look, we, I was we, agreeing we, with that. We got to check. a good, yeah. We got, we got to a good space with that. Yeah. And ladies, y'all need to start pursuing y'all men for real. Like y'all really need to show them love. Black men have it tough out here. We have it tough as a community. As a matter of fact, black men and black women, stop all this going back and forth and trying to compete with one another and going head to head. Oh, well, you did this and I did that. Ah, we don't it need can't that. Be tit for tat. It yeah. can't be tit for tat because. We go through enough as black people, and we're never, and I, and I don't like using words never and always, but we will never make it to the other side of where we say we want to be until we come together collectively and say, you mm. know what? I know you go through it, and I go through it too. There's no reason to compare our traumas mm. or compare what we go through on a regular basis. Mm. I understand. what I have empathy for you. You have empathy for me. Let's heal one another yeah. and then move forward. But we will never reach where we want to reach until we do that. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and when I was saying what I was saying, just to clear up some shit and whatnot, I, I just don't want you to be that nigga that fellas or ladies. I just don't want that guy to be that that guy. You say, man, I got this one stupid ass nigga. Yeah. He be paying this and that and that. Don't lead them on. And I got this other stupid ass nigga. Do. Yeah. yeah. They talk about you like that. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't don't lead them they, on. They talk about yeah. you like and that. And I don't. I don't have. You don't want to be that guy. That. Yeah. You don't want to be that guy because it is another guy that's out here. He ain't got them getting no hotel room or nothing. 
He up here fucking in the car, in the bushes, in the woods. She coming out that motherfucker with goddamn uh, uh, leaves in her head and all that shit. You want to be that nigga. Now, hold on, no, Jack. You know, if no, she asking Jack. you for shit, no, if she Jack. asking you for shit, you better make sure you say, hey, so what's that going to get well, me? Well, Jack, J- Jack. Yeah, what that going to get me? Jack. Or... Yeah. Or just walk away, <laughs> leave. You ain't gotta ask for. Oh well, since I'm. But if you don't, if you, if you walk away, you don't know what that was gonna get you. First, no, see what she gonna on. say. You gotta stop. No, <laughs> bad advice. <laughs> no, Jack. Chrissy, where you at with it? <laughs> Chrissy, Chrissy, you got some dumb. She ain't gonna get. She ain't gonna give you the secret. Chrissy, Chrissy ain't gonna give you the secret. Chrissy. <laughs> Chrissy, you got them. You got them dumb dudes. I got this dumb dude. That, is that you, Chrissy? You be don't. You be saying that. Be, be, for, okay, Chrissy okay, will see? finesse the. Fin- Actually, no. I mean, I'm very a peacemaker. I'm old school. I'm okay. I'm 35, but my soul is very old. Same here. So yeah. I don't believe in that back and forth drama stuff. I'm I'm quick to just walk away. We can't talk about it, communicate about it. I'm yeah, and just be up front. Like, if, if you here for one thing, say that. Because you're giving me the opportunity to choose. Let me, let me figure out if I want to stay. Yep, yeah. yep. That's, and that's the thing with men and women. Like, if you want to be in a situation and it's like, hey, I'm just here. I want to be here for sex. Okay, cool. I'm here because I want to spend money. Say that and give them. Yeah, because you never. And some people make. Some people get jiggy with. Some people be getting down with to get down. People love it. Yeah. There, there's people for it. But don't stay, Jack. Just leave. No, no, one hundred percent. I'm uh, yeah, definitely leaving if if, if 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 I'm not getting my drink money back or I'm getting, getting get, I'm not getting I'm, I'm not getting my Ruth Chris money back and what You be taking on the Ruth Chris? Come it on, can Jack. happen. Okay. But it only happens on some Bruno Mars shit. When I say See, Bruno Mars shit, the, lucky for you, that's what I like. Oh. That I was going there anyway. And you just it wasn't because be- you wanted to go. Okay. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, okay. and that that it balances out that way for yeah. you. You know okay. what I'm saying? So you don't, like, it, that, that's how, it, let, let's say she is tricking your ass. <laughs> you were like, shit, I was going to go get a steak anyway, so it's right. all just good. Like, it's I just steak. ain't finna take this motherfucker out. Because I just learned another thing. Women will make you what they, I, I learned, like, you could be my food buddy. Now, bitch, I don't want to be your motherfucking food buddy. She telling you up front, though. You're like, what, a, what is a food buddy, fellas? A food buddy mm-hmm. is a guy. Well. That, <laughs> oh, she ain't been to this restaurant yet. She, you take her out on different different food dates and mm-hmm. whatnot, and she just eating off you because she ain't got nothing to eat anyway. <laughs> and she got about, like, ten of y'all in the phone that she didn't talk to <laughs> that day that's asking her to go out. She's just trying to see who going to who want to take her to the best place. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that nigga. Mm. But it's all about the type of chick that you pursuing and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And what she's asking for from you. When when you when when I say that, ask her what happened to the last guy you was dating, mm-hmm. and you gotta listen to that and don't be thinking to yourself, "I'm better than him." Correct. Because she she just ain't met me yet. Mm-hmm. You know, no, she like that. Yeah. Don't be trying to change nobody. No. Nope. You know what I'm saying? And and the same thing with more women. Don't be trying to change him. <laughs> and listen to what he what, if he tell you I got three baby mamas. Why the fuck would you want to be the fuck? You know what? I've been asked to be a baby mama before. What? No, you haven't. I no, you swear haven't. to Bob, that I don't. That just it just dawned on me. Uh, uh, I, 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 I don't know. He, he has. I think he has three, four baby mamas. Actually, you know what? I've been asked twice. This is crazy. How this is like all? I've been asked twice. One guy in the industry. Actually, both, both in the industry. No, you you definitely I, got some good ass baby mama. Like if I wanted a baby, dang, the, the, I got I bring baby mama energy. Yeah, man, you you like got kind of athletic build. I feel like I, I feel like I bring like mother, like the mother to my children energy. See, Chrissy wants you to be the mother to her kids. <laughs> yeah. Can you do that? Be be the you mother. You only to got your three six, years but left. Sixteen year old already has a beautiful mother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but I've been asked twice and. That's just crazy to me. Mm. Mm. So what did yeah. you do? Oh no, I told him no. I no. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I thought and, it was pending. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask. <laughs> Thank you for asking. No, Jack. 
I tell both of them no, and in the don't disrespect me like that. No. Mm. You, you definitely more than a baby mama. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and you, and if you end up there's you know you, if you end up being a baby, but first. like walking into it like oh I, I just want you to be my baby mama. That's the that's what I'm talking about. Not you know. And some people be people like that, really me? No, they don't, Jack. Shut up! I wouldn't. <laughs> No, I, I will believe. There, I mean, there are all sorts of people in the world. Oh, yeah, 100 And that lifestyle may work out for some people. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, that's Nick n- Cannon's... That's not you. Yeah. Nick Cannon's, you know, his... Technically, like, they're baby mamas. And that's okay. Like, I don't see anything wrong. If both of y'all have an understanding of, like, hey, this is what I want, this is what you want... It makes sense for a woman to want to be Nick Cannon baby mama. I get that. For them, yeah. It, for, it don't make, make sense for, for a somebody want to be... Nick Gunn, baby mama. <laughs> what? Or Nick, or Nick Pistol, baby mama. Oh, that don't make sense. But I also don't think those type of guys would even ask somebody to be their baby mama. No, either, it always right? like you act. have to have you have to have some type of mm-hmm. stability to like want women to be your baby mama, right? One hundred percent. Okay. You you would think he that, said, oh. but it is some some people like damn. I just want Man, Symphony. I got to oh, trap this. Oh, it do be people that just be like, I just want, I just want a kid. Yeah, I want that for my. I don't want a relationship. I just want a kid. I want. They want Dang. access to you because of the way you make them feel, and you one of them people mm-hmm. that make people feel good. I appreciate that. Yeah. I pre- yeah. And so they want that energy no. and an offspring that gives off of that too. So yeah. you have to be really protective of your power. Oh yeah, no, I am. I've learned that the hard way, the hard way for sure. But yeah, no, I can't. I can't be no. You had abortion. Have I ever? I have. No, I thought you said you learned it the hard way. No. But no, I, listen, it's not about that. Um, you, I learned I have to protect my energy, Jack. Gotcha. Yeah. I, understand. I understand. Jack said he has to ask. Yeah. And that's okay. It's I for ask. them. Can, it's, I, know, I know you. you know, correct. You know what You know I'm I wouldn't disrespect you like that. And it's you, it's I just I your dog. It, it does not bother me at mm, all. 100%. It does not bother me at all. Sure enough. So, like, you know, tell us where it all started at, man. Did you always want to be a um, – w- 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 I, first, I need to understand what you categorize yourself as. Would you Would you, yeah. Would you? you say you are a journalist or a, a, um, a um, uh, yeah. reporter? Would you say that you – I say uh, um, multimedia personality because I host events, so, like, emceeing. Um, you know, I moderate Comedy Hype News Show. Um, I conduct interviews, um, so just multimedia. And now I'm into, like, producing, and I have my own TV show. Um, So, yeah, I just use multimedia personality because I do so many things, and I plan to do more things. Um, But to go to what I think your other question was, was did I always want to? Um, I think it was always in me because when I was younger, I used to put on, like, little productions for my family. So I used to put on, like, talent shows and, like, all those things growing up. But because I was conditioned to, like, oh, you got to go to school, then you go to college, then you get a good job, I used to tell myself that I wanted to be a lawyer because I like, I like debates. And even to this day, like, I like, a, I like a good debate when it comes with, you know, you have your information, I have my information, and then we can debate on something. Mm. Um, so, and then, but I went to college to actually be a physical therapist. So I ran track in college and just said, oh, I'm going to be a physical therapist just because I was in the sports arena. And then my junior year, I was like, um, yeah, this internship made me realize this is not what I want to do, but, you know, I'm going to finish college and then see where life goes. And honestly, I got into media, I, sounds cliche, but because of God, I moved to Atlanta for a corporate job, started going to different events, and then just kept meeting people. And they were like, oh, I love your personality. Have you ever done this? And I'm the one to never say no. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I did, I did. And then it just it just kept happening lying. from there. I wasn't lying, Jack. What was you doing? I was you, stretching. What, 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 did, what did young people say? You was manifesting. No, I was stretching the truth. I'm playing with you. Because I told you, I, I used to put on little productions for my fa- my family. Mm-hmm. So technically, I've hosted. Mm-hmm. Technically, I've done interviews. Mm-hmm. Te- you know, technically, I did those things. Technically. Yeah. Technically. technically. But, you know, because they never asked, you know, how big was the audience or how old you were. It's a technique, yeah. You see, they just said, have you ever done it? And I was like, yeah, I have. Don't know. And I showed up and did it. Yeah. And now I've done it. Don't know. Yeah. See, so you... How do you land into being a uh, personality? What you mean? Like, we, uh, when I 
when I first uh, seen you, you was on Comedy Hype. Yeah. How did you even get to that space? Well, does, yeah. Is that the first thing that, that, that you start off with? Or? No. So I started um, I started out modeling, um, and I was at a I was doing a um, I think it was a hair show or a fashion show or something. And the photographer there, he saw me and he was like, it's just something in you that I saw. And he was like, I would love to do a photo shoot with you. And, you know, at first I'm like, mm, you know, who is this? This is back home in Greenville. Um, big shout out to Chris Kelly. And so I did That's my That's the nigga first... from Chris Cross? No. No. <laughs> this... That's what you talked to? I thought too. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 no. This is uh, from Greenville, South Carolina. Um, he's a photographer um, as well as a, a studio owner out back home. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he was like, hey, I want you to do a photo shoot. Did my first photo shoot. And then he was like, hey, come to a fashion, you know, fashion show with me. And I went there and met a guy named um, Jerome with um, In the House Media. There's always a nigga named Jerome. I know. Jerome. From In the House. And yeah. his production is In the House. Jerome In the House. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Jerome. Um, and I started doing red carpet interviews. Mm -hmm. And, Jack, I was working a full-time job, literally, and I would leave and probably do three, four events after my full-time job. Doing, like, red carpet events, um, hosting different people's parties and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then every time I went to a red carpet event because I wasn't getting paid, my idea was, okay, every time I leave, I need to leave with some type of contact information or connect with somebody um, and just, you know, make sure it's, it's mutual. It makes sense. Um, and I would just go and just be myself and people would come up to me before I could go up to somebody else and be like, hey, you know, I really love your personality. Um, you know, I like to introduce myself, blah, blah, blah. And then met a guy named Daytrick Davis with Day Ray Media. Big Day shout trick. out to Daytrick. Yes. Okay. I'm shouting them all out. He's a um, Daytrick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man, I love it. Um, and yeah, so then we started doing events together and it, it just grew from there. So Comedy Hype came around during the pandemic. So by the time Comedy Hype came around, by this time I've hosted with Bronner Brothers, Essence Festival. Um, I've been on tour with Ford. They do like an HBCU tour. Um, and like big, big events like that, as well as events here in Atlanta and comedy hype reached out to me during COVID and everything was shut down. I was supposed to do the Tom Jorna cruise that got canceled cause of COVID. And then next thing I know, comedy hype reached out to me Man. by email. Yeah, yeah, man. I was so hurt. Like we were rehearsing for Tom Jorna cruise cause the crew that I um, was going to go with, but shout out to Mari. Um, I was going to go with, like, the whole thing is a lot different. And I really love it because we get to, like, do some dancing and some games. And, like, it's very interactive with the crowd. It's not just, you know, welcome to such and such and da-da-da-da and curating the event. But, like, you're actually involved with the people. Mm -hmm. um, so we had we were coming up with a dance. And it was great. It was going to be with Christina Grainsville, um, Amari Harvard, um, as well as DJ Genius. And I know there's one more person I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, we were supposed to do it and then it got canceled and maybe like a week or so later, Comedy Hype reached out to me. They emailed me and were like, they were looking for a moderator for a new show that they were um, going to be putting out, Comedy Hype news show, and told me to come by the studio. And since then, it's been history. It's been a, it's been a great ride. I've learned so much about comedy. Um, oh, so you wasn't really in, into comedy like that no. before on this type of level. No, I've always been a fan of comedy, obviously. Yeah, of course. But Everybody never, wants to laugh. never having the information that I have now or mm -hmm. understanding the art of comedy. Like okay. I tell people, people come to me all the time, like, "Oh, are you a comedian?" I'm like, "No, I would, I would never disrespect that art because people that really understand what y'all do and what y'all do for the culture, there's no way I could ever get on stage and disrespect." that art so the the things that I've learned up to this point man it's been so eye-opening to not only like comedy but just life in general because that's what y'all do y'all take the things that we go through put it in a storyline and then come on stage and sometimes make us laugh sometimes it's not sometimes it's a, a think piece depending on who's the comedian mm -hmm. but it's it's definitely been a journey that I'm appreciative of because it's opened my eyes to so much um, and then learning about a lot of the black stories that I didn't know about the TV shows um, you know, how they use us to spit us out for networks and things like that. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's been a good journey, but now, you know, we're, I think now we're 810,000 subscribers on YouTube. What? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll hit 
hit a million. We'll hit a million. Very That's soon. amazing. Man, yeah. It's And I wish I could go back to see what it was from the beginning, like when I first got there. But I remember when I came in, Pierre was there. And you know Pierre. He gave me the hardest time. Like, who's your favorite comedian? And all this kind of stuff. And Pierre I'm, was trying to fuck. That's all you No, he was That's not, his game. No. <laughs> That's his, that's his game right there. Pierre has all, Pierre has never tried hey, me. Contrary yes, to what everybody Yes, he did. No, he, he, you just didn't know he was. No, no. That no. you ain't pick up on it. You didn't pick up on it when I was trying you. Jack, <laughs> Pierre did not. Pierre, I, it, Pierre, no, literally, I, <laughs> look, don't, stop making me laugh. I'm not laughing. I'm telling the truth. Pierre has never tried me. Sometimes I see people in the comments like, oh, Pierre, just flirting. Pierre's always been like a big brother. Him and Capone have hey, always you, been. You ever had a big brother that wanted to fuck you? Oh, my God. Not the big brothers. I, well, I don't, I don't use that. I, I, don't, I don't use that you term You the one said it. I don't use it loosely. I don't oh, okay. use it just, oh, everybody's my Tell big brother. Tell me some big brother shit that nigga did for you. Watch this. Well, I, I, won't, I won't say a certain person, but... Pierre has definitely, like, set me up for some big wins as far as for my show, um, as far as for my career, like, connecting me with people to, be, you know, whether it's me learning something. Because, again, I'm not a comedian, so there's just some things that I do not know. I do that, too. That's Jack, easy. who you done, who who have you connected me to? No, I do it. Like, who you want to be connected with? No. <laughs> what you want to do? We, we can play this game. Don't play. You no, know, I just choose not to. Okay, it, it's true, but yeah, he, he fifty. I'm forty, so you know, I like. Yeah, I say that shit for later. <laughs> I can't stand this. Man. <laughs> I I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. I know. Look, I'm, I'm right. be looking at you at the side now. Like, is Jack trying to help? No, I'm gonna tell you. Jack I'm like, like, no, you listen, are truthful. If I do this. And you, you can just, I'm gonna tell you, you can stop right. I'm gonna be like, nah, you can stop right there. You can stop. Because what's for me is it's gonna happen regardless. Well, all right, what's for you will come faster if you do it like this. I don't like fast. Yeah, all right. Well, shit, I do it slow. I don't do my business fast. I like, I like my business you call to take it business. its time. You, so you, you sound like a cat. What now? I do my business. I, not so like a cat. cat over there doing his business. And, and on the, <laughs> and fast business don't fast business trash fast. I'm fucking with I you. know you are. <laughs> you're, you're crazy for her. <laughs> do my business. I don't, I don't like. I don't like it fast. I ain't talking fast. You just listen slow. Mm -hmm. You from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. South Carolina, born yeah. and raised. Over here doing the business. But I love Georgia though. Mm -hmm. I love Atlanta. Did, I do did. love Atlanta. You down here by yourself? No, my um dad actually moved down here over ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Um. And because I, I used to come to Atlanta all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to go, I can't remember the name of the skating ring, but I used to go to a skate Cascade. ring. No, it was a skating ring that turned Golden to a Glide. teen club. It turned to a teen club. Oh, okay. I don't know, because there was a couple of them, I think, in Atlanta. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, no, I used to come up here all the time and have always loved it. Like, my dad used to make sure we did things around the city. Like, we used to go to the underground, like the old underground. Yeah. We yeah. used to catch the, um, the MARTA on the bus. Yeah. You, you started out selling drugs? I stopped. Drugs? Oh, okay. I started in and stopped the same day there. Yeah. So, what, did something happen? Yeah. Uh, um, I, uh, I, I was, uh, I met this dude, mm -hmm. and he was like, I trying to sell him some weed and stuff. And he was like, how much you got? I like, man, shit, I got $120 worth. He said, like, give me that. I'm, I'll be right back. I gave, gave it all. I gave him all my shit. He didn't come back. I waited there like three days. Jack, did you uh, stop selling? You should stop selling drugs that day. Yeah, I did. Okay, I completely. Because that the game. I realized you. I yeah. was not Franklin Saint. You no. Know, that day. No. I like. I don't got this. No, it, it ain't. It ain't in you, and it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Now you out here slanging jokes. Yep. For one hundred percent. Is and it's working and stuff. Um, you know. So you got this new show. Yes. Tell us about this show, man. And you got man. some dope ass players on that motherfucker too. Including you, including you, you're on it. Thanks to you. Yeah, no. Yeah. It, it was truly an honor. So I have a show called Black Friday Report um, that I co-produced with Killer Mike. Um, so the show actually came up. I don't know if you have seen Trigger Warning on Netflix. Um, but in Trigger Warning, one of the episodes, Killer Mike, he... Oh, yes, I yeah, have seen that. where yeah. he's tried to support mm -hmm. black-owned businesses for, yeah. like, three days. He's crazy. He's... Listen, I, I... Again, I would never disrespect the art of comedy. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to call him a comedian. No, he's, Killer Mike is he, funny. He's funny enough to do it. He is funny. If he ever thought to, like, hey, let me partner with this comedian to really learn, like, he's funny. You know why he don't do it? 
Why? Because he knew it ain't no money in that shit. Hey, it, I think when you it, retire, he might. Yeah, it's I can it, see that. it's easier. It's a, it's like a, it could be a side hustle for someone yeah. like him on his level. People would come to to see him, but when you got to do show after show after show after show, yeah, and whatnot, like it ain't it it don't it don't balance out to what he does in one night as runner jewels or right. with the deals that he he on another level. Man. Yeah, no, he is, mm -hmm. and it's crazy. It's it's like he's still growing, like he's still relevant. He's still growing. I'm super excited for the things that's coming. Mm -hmm. Like the man is just like I'm always in awe that like we are even connected, and I'm great, always grateful. Like I don't take it makes sense that to relationship. Me. That that's the cloth you come from. Mm. Yo, you you are amazing. I oh, appreciate a wealth that. of knowledge. Um, you you are a um, a, 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 a role model, mm. and um, you got your head on straight. You know exactly what your purpose is. Come on. And you know, I, 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 when I see you, I see a young Tracy Edmonds. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I don't say that <laughs> like lightly. that. And it's ain't this ain't what the young people say. This ain't no cap. Yeah, no cap. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate. I don't take those words lightly at all. So thank you. I appreciate that. Dig, dig, Very dig. Much so yeah. Um, so, yeah, in the show, he talks about supporting um, Black-owned business. He challenges us to support a Black-owned business every Friday. Mm -hmm. um, so I took that challenge and ran with it. Like, I've always been a person to support Black-owned. Like, to this day, every day you will see me in Black-owned. Right now, my shirt is Black-owned. Shout out to Kalana Barfield. Mm -hmm. My bag is Black-owned. Shout, shout out to who she thinks she is. Mm -hmm. um, so every day I'm very intentional about wearing a Black-owned product mm -hmm. e every single day. Mm -hmm. um, but when he pushed out that, it was like, okay, well, let me take it to social media and I'm going to hold him accountable. So I used to, like, ask everybody every Friday, like, hey, here's who I'm supporting. Who, you, who are you supporting? And then yeah. I would ask Killer Mike, okay, like, hey, it's Friday. Who are you supporting? Um, and then he and I connected. He Like, he appreciated me holding him accountable. And so I thought of an idea to where we should host, um, like, Black Fridays at the swag shop. Mm -hmm. um, and he connected me to, you know, the store there. And we started doing those at the swag shop where every Friday black vendors would come there. Because, you know, the barbershop is like back in the day, that was where you would. Because I used to go to the barbershop to get my, my neck shaped up because I'm real hairy. And stuff. Oh, yeah. I felt your arm earlier. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's. I had to go through. It's thick. Yeah, no, it, it, my mama didn't bless me with a lot, but she blessed me with a lot of hair. Oh, yeah. That I do have. Oh, yeah. So I used to go get my neck, and, but every time I was there, like, people would come with, like, whether it's clothes or food or whatever to, like, sell it, you know, come in the barbershop and sell it. Like, that was the culture of, bar, mm. you know, the being at the barbershop. Like a so, fine-ass little bear. <laughs> no, know? that's me. For real, like, these arms... Are crazy. It's yeah. it's yeah. No, I could probably braid. Uh, you my could arm. comb your hair. I know. I I could. I yeah. could. Yeah. Like, what, what's that? I yeah. No, it's there, and I'm not ashamed of it. No, no, no. I've don't done be. photo shoots, and they're it, like, do you it, want me to take it off? And I'd be like, no, can, keep can I that. Say, can I tell you something? What? It's it, it's sexy. Is it? Yeah. I've never been told that before. No, it's very sexy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I I'm, appreciate. I didn't know I was into that. I'm gonna start treating it like a beard. Y yeah. And really uh, like take care of my hair on my arm. Uh, yeah. I should come out with a product yeah, for arm that's hair. That's good. That's good. I like it. Dang, somebody going to take I my mean, idea, huh? No. I need I got to hop nope, on it right it ain't, after it ain't, this. It ain't, it ain't, listen, it, it ain't Symphony, and they don't have the platform that you have. There you go. Y'all heard it here first. Come yeah, on, y'all yeah. heard it here first. I'm going to come 100%. out with something. Because sometimes it get, okay, let me focus. Sometimes it get dry, so I'm going I'm to come out with Yeah, that. make sure your, 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 your hair wet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me finish my let me finish my story real quick. <laughs> so anyway, so um, Killer Mike told me to come out. <laughs> this man, my stomach is tight. Boy, I don't need to work out. I just need to come around you and laugh. Um, Killer Mike told me to come up with something for social media so that he could support me because he appreciated what I was doing. And um, I'm a creative, so social media is nice. But you know, I'm thinking about longevity. How can I reach more people? How can we spread more messages? Because the dollar only stays in the black community for six hours. That blows my mind. The stigmas on black-owned businesses blows my mind because I hear people so quick to say, "Oh, this is why I don't support black-owned businesses," or "I'm not going to support a black-owned business." But you have a bad experience at one Walmart, and you still show up to that same Walmart. Granted, some people don't go to Walmart anymore, i.e. myself. But, you know, when I, we were going to Walmart, I know when I go to Walmart, it's going to be long lines. Customer service is going to be horrible. And, the you know, the food is bad, whatever, whatever. But 
people still showed up. So that's, I want people to, if you have a bad experience at a black owned business, yes, hold them accountable, but give them that feedback back to them. So that's where I came up with the idea for Black Friday Report, which is my new TV show where myself and a celebrity guest, we go in, we visit a black owned business that's activity based because there are different black owned businesses. You know, some people think, oh, black owned businesses are only hoodies and da da da. And those are nice. But it's like, no, there's a plethora of black owned business that are out here. You may not just have access to them or you don't know about them. So let me create a platform for them. So we go and visit a black owned um, activity based business. And at the end of our experience, we grade um, it in three categories. And as you know, the cost, the customer service, and the overall experience, because based on the research, those are the top three reasons why people stray away from supporting Black-owned businesses. It costs too much, the customer service is bad, and then they talk about, you know, what it looks like, what it smells, you know, the, the venue and all these type of things. So just overall, um, and just putting the, as we said earlier, when Ms. Fine walked up here, putting the the medicine in the candy. <laughs> Look, she said, that's me. <laughs> putting the, the medicine in the candy of like, hey, we're having a good time, but I'm also giving you a call to action of when you go support these Black-owned businesses, one, show up because the dollar needs to stay in our community for so much longer than six hours. Like, we're the number one consumers. There's so much power in that. We talk about not having power, but my gosh, we first of all, we have culture and we we run them numbers up. We keep businesses alive for a long time. We make their businesses pop. There's so much power that we do have. We just have to know how to use it. So when you go to these black owned businesses, show up. But then also, if you have a bad experience, give them that feedback instead of going to go run your mouth somewhere. Because you could use your mouth for better things. Go and eat something good. Go, you know, go talk into somebody. Go speak into yourself, whatever it is. So I want I want Black Friday Report to not just be something that's entertaining, but also informative and where I'm speaking to your subconscious because consciously you're watching it, you're just having a good time, but I want you to watch it every Friday and subconsciously I'm just talking to you, telling you, oh, well, when you have this same kind of experience, oh, hey, go do this. Or, you know, hey, hey, make sure you're supporting a black owned business, leaving those bugs, planting those seeds. Um, so yeah, Black Friday Report airs every Friday at 8 p.m. on Peachtree TV. And we're also in talks with bigger networks. So um, you'll see it in other places as well. That's what's up. Hey, Wizard Craig, he, he had a question for you. Yeah. Hey, Craig. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Pretty smooth. Um, so, I know you working with Killer Mike. Yes. And he always said that, you know, if you live in Atlanta and you're black and you have business about yourself, you mm. know, you have the opportunity and the, you know, moral duty to, like, mold the culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, do you feel like you're doing that with all the works that you're doing? You feel like you're, like, you know, mold in the culture some? Man, you know what? I, and I'm, I'm cause I, I like to stay candid and honest. For a while, I didn't understand the impact I was making because sometimes you work so hard, right? That you don't take the time to look up or look at yourself, right? Until the other day, somebody struck it like right in my, like right in my throat. It was just, you know how sometimes you get that frog when you're about to cry in your throat? It was right there. So they said, you come from South Carolina, like, I'm from South Carolina. I, you know, my dad was here, but I didn't really know anybody. And I've come to Atlanta and been able to create opportunities for other Black-owned businesses. And, you know, the, the things are nice, being on a billboard, being on TV, but, like, there are true businesses that look to me and thank me for, like, hey, I appreciate you for X, Y, Z. Um, a couple people have come to me, like, hey, you helped me create a business that's doing very well. So now, yeah, I do understand the impact that I'm making, and I don't plan to stop. So now that I have that understanding, it's like, oh, it's really go time. Like, it was go time before, but now that I, under like, truly understand my impact and I see it, not just you know, people telling me or whatever, like, I see the value in that. Absolutely. And it's not going to stop anytime soon. So, yeah, I appreciate that. You got Craig. anything else, Wiz? Yeah, one more thing. So, come on, Craig. Um, the name Black Friday Report, did y'all come up with that name, like, after y'all came up with the idea? Because I know you're explaining it, that you're going to these different businesses every Friday. Mm -hmm. But, like, I was thinking, too, like, maybe they got the name from, you know, the day after Thanksgiving. So, like, was it the name first and then the idea or, like, the idea and then the name? No, so actually, I came up with the name first. So, um, because he challenged us every Friday to support a Black-owned business. And he said, you know, redefining what Black Friday is. Um, so, I took that and then knowing that I wanted to give the businesses feedback, like a report. Um, so, then that's why I combined the Black Friday report. Crazy thing is, I, so, 
I came up with the idea and called Killer Mike, like, hey, I want to present something to you. Because even though, like, we're close, I still treat him like, hey, you know, I just want to da 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 And I presented the ugliest presentation. Like, to this day, I keep it. But it's so, it, it's hideous. Like, it's, it's so hideous. But I met him at the studio and broke down what I wanted to do. And he was like, oh, let's run it. Like, he loved, he loved the name. He loved the concept. And he was like, oh, let's, let's go with it. Um, and it, it just made sense. Like, I did think about, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, but um, that would that didn't come to after. Like, when I thought about it and I was like, oh, this is it, I didn't even consider the day after Thanksgiving at all. However, you know, it, it all makes sense. It all intertwines because it's like, you know, the money that you save up to spend on Black Friday, you need to be, every Friday you need to be putting in, making it, being very intentional to spend money with, if you, to spend money with black business. If you can say, oh, the day before Thanksgiving, you know, I got to show up at 4 a.m., people standing in lines to fight to get inside. If you can do that for a business that probably don't give two craps about you, your culture, or anything about your community, my gosh, you can pour into your community every Friday. It can be as small as going to go buy a necklace, cologne. Like, there are businesses that have affordable things that are within your price tag. But then also, there are some people that you go and buy the Louis and the Gucci's and the blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I'm not going to you know, talk down on anybody that does. However, you, if you can spend that money, then my gosh, you can go spend this money over here. Somebody that sells hats for $400. Shout out to Fruit Wishing Hat Company. You know, their hats, high quality, real hats. And I hear people like, oh, it's expensive. But then I'm looking down at your shoes like, well, hold on. One plus one equals two, right? The money that you spent, do, do, are they pouring back into your community? Because I doubt it. Like, it's, it's, it just... There has to be some reshaping of the way that we see each other and the way that we see our businesses and the way that we understand our people and what we need. Because we get upset when we see somebody else do something to us, but it's like, but what are we doing for us to make sure that we're protected and that we're good? So, yeah. 100 percent God is good. And this is, is not good. for me. This is for a friend. Somebody yeah. wanted to, me to ask you, um, they know that you're waiting until you get married to have sex, but in between that time, are you cool <laughs> with tongue kissing and feeling on each other? Uh, shout out to your me. friend for that answer yeah. or that question. Yeah. Um, for me personally, because uh, for me there has to be limits, right? So when you're practicing celibacy, mm -hmm. you have to have that conversation with your partner of what's far for you, like what gets you in the mood because, you know, when the, when things get to rolling, you know, sometimes the tumbleweed. Things get to trolling. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, for me, I have to be mindful. So I can't do the like, oh, all right, so we going we gonna to tongue kiss and rub and touch our body parts, but we got to stop, right? Like, no, you done, you done yeah, got to be hot, stupid. riled yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Correct. That's and then now I'm fuck. hurt. I, yeah. No, no. Mm -mm. Men talk about and yeah. And see, but I, I and the thing is, I love having conversations about sex because I, I still think it's important. <laughs> I still think it's important, especially for women. We don't talk enough about sex and not just like, I oh, agree. He, da, da, da. we don't talk enough about like what we need mm -hmm. in our sexual experience. People want to know what y'all need. Men. Um, there's a there's a, a a series called Sex, Love and Goop. It was on Netflix, Sex, Love, and Goop, and it was G-O-O-P, G -O -O the most informative series I've ever seen because women, a lot of women never experience a real orgasm. Hmm. Never. We I fake it. Okay. And we make it, and we make it seem real. Okay. We just fake it so much that it be, like, we think, like, okay, this is the norm. Okay. But there are a lot of women that never experience it, and it's just, sometimes, y'all just got to... Slow down and just, you know, take yeah, yeah. learn, right? Because um, what I learned from that um, series is how they actually took the clitoris out of um, books because they were like, oh, it's childish for a woman to be experiencing an, an orgasm. White man came up with that idea. Um, and so there wasn't a lot of education on a woman's vulva because actually we were calling it a vagina when it's not even that. So... Education, you got to educate yourself. It's, it. it's very difficult it. to take a woman there because our bodies are a lot more complex. But men, just go educate yourself. Start with Sex, Love, Goop. It was a great series. I learned a lot about men. You learn about men and women. 
Um, and it's like it's like a sex therapist um, that takes like a couple of couples. You know what I'm talking about? Um, a sex therapist that takes a couple of couples through different experiences and they learn like what they like and all these type of things. So, you know, learn. But yeah, I think women need to have more conversations yeah. about it because y'all get y'all's. Y'all be good. Y'all yeah. be, yeah. And, and yo, and like, like, cause see, I'm celibate too. So oh, when I but, was having sex, though, I I wanted to definitely understand what it takes for women to get theirs. Cause you know, I think that was my goal. I didn't care about me. Really? That shit's. That's selfless. Yeah, and that's, it's not yeah, right. That's selfless. It's not right. That's selfless. Yeah. That. Why everybody laughing at you? People don't believe you. I believe you, Jack. The, the immaturity. Jack, I believe you. Immaturity. Jack, yeah. I I believe you. People evolve and you know. You right. Then you know you've per, grown. Persona. You see, come on. Being infamous and all uh, that other stuff uh -huh. and whatnot. But yeah. yeah, they don't know how I really am. You right. I don't want every. You can't just accept every energy on you. Come on. You know you have to like I'm. To, when I get married, that's yeah. Jack, you want to get married? Of course, I've been married before. I've, oh, I did. I didn't know that. I yeah, did. yeah. I, did. I was, it was a hot six months. Yeah, I think I heard that in one of your stories. It was on the comedy hype. Yep. Yep. I, okay. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got married on Valentine's Day. Mm. Got divorced on uh, Halloween. Ooh. You know. Yep. That's got, that's two crazy. That's two crazy holidays. Got a trick and a treat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. You it dribble. Does. You shoot, you hope for the best. There you go. Oh, can I can I be in the wedding? Say it again? Can I be like a flower girl or... I think that we probably can find a place for you there. I've, yeah, I feel like it, I, I could be a lit flower girl. I'm actually about to have my first grown flower girl experience, but it's I, not I, real. I never got... A, you know what's funny, too? I never got a chance to be in a wedding because I got married at the courthouse. Oh. Yeah. So are, are, when you do get married again, are you going to have like a wedding? Um, it, it just depends on where we are financially. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I mean, it that, doesn't have to be big, though. It doesn't, have to, it doesn't have to be a big wedding. It it, it doesn't, but w w then it don't. It depends on too who you marry and what, mm, and what they true. need. That's true. You know. That's true. So once again, it's not about me. It's not it's, about it's you. It's always been about the woman, and you know, this, it's about y'all. Happy yeah. spouse, happy house. Yeah, happy spouse. <laughs> Happy house. There you go. Instead of happy wife, happy life, happy That's spouse. That's not cool. No, that is. I don't want that. Please. Yeah, no. Oh my. Let's get. Let's get rid of that. Both, we we both uh, got to be happy. Correct. I do not want a yes man. Don't don't just okay. Whatever you say. I'm de okay. I'm definitely a no it's man. Her, yeah, because he gonna tell you. He's gonna shut. He just wants you to shut you up. Shut mm -hmm. up. I, okay, baby. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. And then he going by his business. Yeah. But truly, like men deserve to be loved on. Like. Yeah. Nah, happy spouse over here. Yeah. yeah. And so that's where I'm at in my life right I now. I look forward to it. And that's why I was it. asking that. You know? Yeah. No, yeah, no. In the Good meantime, thing. mm mm. No. But we can hold hands. Yeah. I like holding hands. Yeah, 100%. I'm a, I'm a hand holder. Yep. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> trying to build his. What a, okay, Jack. Sure thing. Sure. Man, I really appreciate you coming over here to New Jack Thriller City, man. And uh, I'm like I said, I'm a really big fan of yours. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen. And I can't wait for the, the new show. Even like I said, even though I'm on it, if I wasn't on it, I did something that I definitely support. And I support you and whatever you do. Um, this isn't your first, and I, I, I hope it's not your last time that you come on here. And yeah. um, I look forward to, you know, just uh, like I said, just growing and uh, uh, expanding this friendship. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I appreciate you for having me here. I don't take your words lightly. You know, we joke, we have a good time, but anytime that you pour into me, like I really take a moment to stand still and receive it because I don't take words lightly, especially when they're coming from someone that I really care about. So thank you so much for having me. All I ever wanted to do was pour into you. Yeah. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. This is New Jack Thriller City. We over and we out of here. Jack, you take us out. <laughs> It's lit. Look, don't even say that. Hey, I always want to slide in there. <laughs> Slick as don't know what. Okay. Oh, my God.
Oh. And Shelly wanna pop pills all night. Look, don't be fucking with my tape, Dad. You gonna listen to this mom, and you gonna listen to this blood. Yeah.